Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the following analytical geometric question. Please don't forget to click on the like and the subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concept. Together, let's get that number to a thousand subscribers. Thank you. AB is the line 2x minus y plus 6 equals to 0. And CD is the line x minus 2y equals to 4. We are to A. Write down the coordinates of A, B, C, and D, the intercepts with the axis. And B. Write down the equation of the line that is perpendicular to AB and passes through A. Starting with the first part of the question, we are to write down the coordinates of A, B, C, and D that intercept with the axis. So the points are A, B, C, and D. I'm going to start by finding the y-intercept. A y-intercept, the value of x is equal to 0. So if I go back to the diagram, starting with the first line, as shown, that's line AB, being given the value of line AB, that's we have line AB, the equation is 2x minus y plus 6 equal to 0. So therefore, the y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis. And so therefore, if the value of x is 0, every occurrence of x in the equation, we're going to replace it with 0. So we have 2 multiplied by 0, that's 2x minus y plus 6 equals to 0. We have 0 minus y plus 6 equals to 0. I'm taking a negative y to the right hand side. We're going to have y equals to 6. So therefore, the coordinates of A at that point is x is 0 and y is positive 6. So we have that as 0 and 6. The next step is to find our x-intercept. That's the value of B, the coordinates B. We have x-intercept. The value of y at that point is 0. Using the same equation, we have 2x minus y plus 6 equals to 0. So every occurrence of y, we replace it with 0. We have 2x minus 0 plus 6 equals to 0. 2x plus 6 equals to 0. We're going to move our positive 6 to the right hand side. We have 2x equals to negative 6. And dividing both sides by 2, we have the value of x equals negative 3. And so therefore, the coordinates for b will be x is negative 3 and y is 0. So for b, we have x negative 3 and y 0. The next step is to move to our next point, that's using the line CD. So therefore, using the line CD, the equation has been given us x minus 2y equals to 4. And therefore, for the y-intercept, the value of x is equal to 0. So therefore, we're going to replace x with 0. In our equation, we have minus, that's x minus 2y, that's 0 minus 2y equals to 4, minus 2y equals to 4. So therefore, dividing both sides by minus 2, we're going to have y equals negative 2. So therefore, our coordinates for the value of c will be x is 0 and y is negative 2. I'm going to add that to the diagram. And to find the last point d, using the same equation, we have x minus 2y equals to 4. This time around, we are finding our x-intercept. At x-intercept, the value of y equals to 0. So therefore, we have x minus, we're going to replace our y with 0 equals to 4. We have x minus 0 equals to 4. 
therefore the value of x equals to 4. So therefore the coordinate of d is x is 4 and y is 0. I'm going to add that to the diagram, we have x is 4, y is 0. Moving to the second part of the question, we have write down the equation of the line that is perpendicular to the line AB and passes through A. So, to interpret the question on the diagram, we are looking for a line that is perpendicular to the line AB. We have the line AB as shown, and we have to find a line perpendicular to AB that passes through A. So, if a line is perpendicular, what that means is that line forms 90 degree to AB. I'm going to start by finding the gradient of the line AB. The gradient M of the line AB is equal to the change in Y over change in X. So using the points A and B, I have that as, I'm going to tag my X1 and Y1. So if I have this as X1, Y1, this will be my X2, Y2. So starting with Y2, I have 0 minus Y1, 6 divided by X2, that's minus 3, minus X1, 0, that will be minus 6 over minus 3. Therefore, the gradient of the line AB is equal to positive 2. And you can see from the diagram that that is a positive gradient. Therefore, to find the gradient of the new line, if two lines are perpendicular, the rule states that ML, that's the new line, the gradient of the new line times the gradient of line AB, if I multiply that together, will give me negative 1. We already know the gradient of AB, that's 2, so I have line ML times 2 equals to negative 1. Therefore, the gradient of the new line ML will be negative 1 over 2. We know that the standard equation of a line is y equals to mx plus c. So we've been able to find the gradients. I'm going to write that as y equals negative 1 over 2x plus c. The next step is to find a c or y-intercept. So since the point A is on a y-intercept and the value of y at that point is 6 as shown, then I'm just going to include that in my equation. So therefore my final equation for the line passing through A that is perpendicular to the line AB will be y equals negative 1 over 2x plus 6. That's the y-intercept. Thanks for watching. Bye.